It is not September 21st, 2020, 5.51 p.m. This is episode 1023. I just got back from a walk. I waited a few minutes so I can stop sweating a little bit. I walked for like 30 minutes and I found an area in my neighborhood and I've lived in this town for 22 years. I didn't know this one little street was there for like these really old houses. It was kind of cool to find a new path. Um, I'm trying to get some of this weight off, so I'm like walking like three or four times a week for like 30 minutes. Uh, I don't want to go to the gym, so we're not here. Uh, I'm not going to start running. I don't like running. All right. Uh, I, I made a big boo-boo while I was recording this. I forgot to uh, push stop. So I kept recording, and I had over five hours of video. Um, that will be deleted. <laughs> um, and then I did a lot of snipping and uh get this because if i hadn't uh, after i had uh time lapses it would have been like a 30 minute video which i was really surprised it was gonna be that short um we got down to like a little bit under five so this one didn't really take that long unless something else happens my next cartoon would not be on rbg um I'm just, don't worry i'll get back to it i think me and my clients both need a little at least one day's break. Um, but I had this idea I really, really like, and I haven't really uh, finalized all the writing for it yet. But it's another multi-panel thing with lots of text. So. Uh, Mitch McConnell, yeah, we went over this. He's a liar, blah, 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 blah. He's, uh, and here's the thing. You can't really shame liars. You can't shame people without integrity. You just can't. But do you think that at some point, you know, when they say a man is only as good as his word, but that tells you right there that these Republicans aren't good for shit. They're good for nothing. If you knew a person like this in real life, you wouldn't loan them a nickel. I mean, you wouldn't have anything to do with them because they're liars and shit like that. I mean, you just wouldn't deal with people like this, you know? And this is what I don't get by voters supporting this shit. You know, Donald Trump's the same way. If people support these people that they would not really, if they weren't the president or, or Senate Majority Leader, you wouldn't want a guy like Donald Trump in your house. If you're a Trump supporter, you would not tolerate that son of a bitch. There's no way, no way you would deal with that shit. All right. Uh, shout outs. TJ does this big old thing about mob rule, which is what we're talking about, democracy. Because uh, Robert Cortino talked about, you know, we should advocate change the Constitution where Congress has a say. And who sits in the Supreme Court? TJ doesn't like that because he thinks that's mob rule. Uh, you know, because people vote for congressmen. <laughs> See, the Senate is disproportionately representative of the, of the country. It, it's not accurate. And people like TJ, and I don't mean to pick on you, TJ, but you're, you're the only one of your ilk here, so no offense. Um, but people like that, they really think that acres should have more representation than people. They look at a place like North Dakota and they're like, look, Look at all the big old red map. That's all red. Uh, Donald Trump won all that. But it's like there's nobody there. And then you look at California like, well, we don't want Californians. All those liberals out there on the coast and the, the East Coast is making all the rules for us. But they want to make the rules for us. I mean, the majority of the public does not want these hard right-wingers going on the Supreme Court. They don't. And I'm not saying that they, that they want super-duper left-wingers either. They would like something more moderate most people but the thing is these people like tj they want their will forced upon the rest of us this is what donald trump and mcconnell want they don't really care about anything let's take one thing straight if they thought that they were the will of the people then they would wait till after the election till after january to confirm the seat but they know they're not they know the people are going to throw them out they know the people will reject them and that's why they're going for this power grab. And it is a power grab. There's TJ and Robert Coutinho, my only two commenters. There's a bunch of other stuff. We're carrying on about the exploding trees and shit. TJ calls me corrupt again. Robert Coutinho brought this up. How in the hell am I corrupt? What, what am I doing? Am I not paying contractors like Donald Trump? And am I putting a golf tournament at my resort? Is G7 going to be at my resort? How the fuck am I corrupt? I don't know. I'm not really hurt by that accusation. I just want to explain it. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.